my name is uh, Nathan Howe. I race as Nismo Nath 5 and yeah, I'm a racer and admin for the Monkey Motorsport Club. My first series with the club was uh, the inaugural season of the Super Formula New Zealand uh, with some of the top guys in the game like uh, Pitender and Psydog and a whole bunch of them. So pretty uh, pretty daunting first first outing with the, with the group. Um, I returned for the second season after that, uh, did the GT4 NZ season and yeah, now we're here for the Renault RS 01 trophy. In the racing I've had some pretty solid battles, uh, I, like to, I like to tussle it out. Uh, a lot of the times it happens to be with my teammate in exile of all people so it's sort of <laughs> sort of become a bit of a joke around the community that we're always like line and stern no matter what but yeah no I, li I like to I like to race pretty hard but at the same time keep it clean. Ooh, those Renaults are a bit tricky. Uh, Mid-engine, they're sort of they like to get a bit taily, especially on the harder compounds of tyres and in the in the dark where the track's a bit colder. Um, this has got a lot of grip, a lot better brakes than you know like your, your average GT3. There's a few little uh, variances there, but um, by and large, it's, it's a great car. A bit of practice, and you sort of you sort of start to really get a hang of it, and yeah, pretty rewarding. Yeah, we're in for some pretty fun racing. Uh, Willow Springs, of course, uh, really fast, really flowing track, but if you have a little off-track excursion, you, you may as well fall off a cliff. You just, there is no such thing as a small excursion on Willow Springs. You, the, the dirt just, it, it murders you. Uh, and Laguna Seca, pretty much the same thing, except it's those sausage curbs. If you, if you cut the insides of the corners too close, uh, you're gonna pretty much tip the car, so. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I don't think we've had I don't think we've had races like this in the MMC yet uh, in any series with such sort of deadly tracks. So it's going to be interesting to see how the drivers can uh, survive. There's a lot on the horizon for Nismanath and for Hoomcorp. Um, of course, Hoomcorp's not just an esports team. We do dabble in the real life racing stuff. There's a few huge bits of news on the horizon there. Um, 24 hour lemons in May which is the biggest race of the year so we're going to be putting all our uh, all our effort into that and getting a pretty solid team lined up which uh, yeah more about that later on. Hooncorp is I'd like to think of it as equal parts racing team and road safety campaign so it's been a thing for about sort of 30 odd years um, started off with like hosting you know cheap affordable events that sort of got people off the street and onto the track so like we did you know drag strips and Gymkhana days and you know would hire out the old Pukekohe circuit and just just have a play you know if, if people are having their fast and furious antics on the track then they're not doing it on the road and putting people in danger because doing it on the road man it's not cool it's not good so we try to we try to change that stigma we try to sort of turn that around and say well hey look here's an opportunity come and do it safely and, and in a controlled state and you're not going to lose your license you're not going to lose your car so yeah yeah, well, that's sort of the that's sort of obviously the pinnacle of grassroots racing in New Zealand. Um, we get about oh, well over 60 teams, five drivers per team. So do the math. There's a lot of lot of racing talent there. Um, yeah, so Hooncorp's going to be fronting more than two cars, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's going to be a pretty serious attack. We want to win. All right, as much as we talk about being nice and tame and slow, we we want to win. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, no, go Hooncorp for the Renault RSO1 trophy. <laughs>